this was in 2006, um, my mom came down with uh, terminal cancer. And my, I had, so I had, two, I had two older sisters, one younger brother. My two older sisters were working. One was in New York, one was in LA. And I had a brother that's still in college in Dallas. And um, it was, it was my dad's kind of master idea to, to create a company that we could all move back and, but still, you know, earn an income and, and do something beyond just being around our mom 24 seven. Um, so my, both my sisters moved back to San Diego. I was, I was in San Diego at that point. And we started this company Westview, which initially was just a, a company that supported my dad's insurance business um, and provided premium financing options for the insurance business. And it was great. And we we're all able to be together. We we're all able to spend kind of the remaining moments. Um, my mom was from the time she was diagnosed to the time she passed away, it was about 17 months. So we got some good quality time to spend with my mom and uh, the family was together. And then, um, and then in 2008, the real estate market crashed and um, we, we recognized an opportunity to start buying some of these single family homes um, around San Diego County. And so it was initially funded through my dad, um, funded the first opportunity. I was, you know, 24, five years old and we're the first people doing this. Like there was, I mean, hardly any out are doing this in a, into a, in a large scale. And we were on the front page of, of Forbes when I was 25 years old. And, you know, we, we were, we were doing well, but, you know, I think a lot, I look back on a lot of that and I kind of like, you know, I thought that yeah, I'm gosh, I'm doing great. You know, I'm doing, but the reality is, it's just like, I had a lot of money behind me and like, I can find some homes and buy some homes and buy them at good values and rent them out. But like, I don't know. I kind of look back on that. I'm like, how much of that was just the fact that I had money behind me and, or how much of it was my ability to whatever accumulate a portfolio of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so from there, we started taking outside capital and buying, and buying outside homes and then buying apartments. And then I found out how hard the business can be when you start actually raising money to go, to go do these deals. Um, and, uh, you know, just, just to kind of rewind for a second, um, I think this applies to your podcast and, you know, how you, how we are the way we are and what, you know, and what, what makes us, what drives us and stuff like that is, is, um, you know, in the, in the remaining months I had with my mom, uh, one of the questions I asked her and I, I just wanted to gather as much as I could from her was, um, you know, what, like, what are, what, what's something that, that you see in me that I need to improve or that I could be better at? Um, and she says, you have a fear of failure. And to this day that drives me. And I, and I, and I totally recognize that because growing up, I would, you know, it going, taking it back to the sports side is I would get to a certain level of sports. And then I would just kind of like, it would die off. And I think of a lot of it, it was, I, I was a, a, afraid to, afraid to fail. And I saw that early in my, in my work career too. Um, there were certain things I didn't do or didn't attack or whatever, because I think there was a, just inherent fear of failure. And it's almost, I almost don't even know what that's like anymore because it's been so long that I feel like I've had that fear. Like that, that almost doesn't even cross my head anymore. Um, coming on this podcast, you know, when I'm 23 and I, and I still have that fear, I think probably that would be like, no, I, I wouldn't do something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so that was very instrumental to, to, to me going out and doing my own thing and, and really having the confidence to do my own thing.